Hey guys, it's Scrub here with Team Honest, and here we have Alex Work, who's just recently topped Port Rush Regional. So, Alex, we have a deck list here with Dark Magician. So, let's just get into the deck list. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so we'll start with our extra deck here, folks. It's pretty straightforward for Dark Magician itself. You've got two of the big boss monsters. This guy's pretty good. Stops your back row from being destroyed or targeted. Uh, so that's your Dark Magician Dragon Knight. You've got one big eye. This it's not a bad card. I mean, steals things that are pretty problematic. You've got your Metal Flare for burn games. It's pretty fun. Mm, this guy, we don't even really use him, so he can just move aside. Ebon High Magician? Yep, Ebon Illusion Magician. This is your more broke one. This is the one that lets you special summon by detaching a Dark Magician from your hand or deck. Uh, then whenever you attack with that Dark Magician, you can banish before the attack actually goes through. So say your opponent has two monsters, you attack into one. Use your effect to banish the other from it, then attack, either continue your attack declaration or choose a different target. So it's pretty broke. Probably mm. probably the best extra deck card in the deck, to be fair. Mm. And that's it for my extra deck. You don't really rely on an extra deck, so I didn't really need it today. I think I used it once. So we'll move on to the main deck for your monsters. So, pretty self-explanatory. Free Dark Magician. 25k beater. Fog standard. Gets you into your stuff. So... Yeah, so that's pretty straightforward. Everyone knows about them. Uh, this guy, not too bad. I play two. A lot of people have played it free. It clogs it free. Never played it free. Magician of Dark Illusion? Yeah, Magician of Dark Illusion. He is pretty good. If you activate a, if he's in your hand and you activate a spell trap card on your opponent's turn, you can special summon it from your hand. If you activate a spell trap on your turn whilst having a Dark Magician in the grave, you can special summon the Dark Magician. So it's not too bad. He's 25k defense, 21 attack, so he's not too bad to have for push games. Probably the best, second best effect monster I would say in the deck is your Apprentice Illusion Magician. Play her at free, play bog standard, discard a card from your hand, special summon her, then if she's successfully special summoned, you can add a Dark Magician card from your deck to your hand. So she's pretty bog standard. She also has an effect that you can ditch her or tribute her from face up on the field to give one of your dark spellcaster monsters 2,000 attack. So she's a pretty good card. Won me a mm. couple of games today. Probably the best effect monster in the deck would have to be the Magician's Rod. Play this guy at free. Whenever you summon this, you can search out a spell or a trap card that would list Dark Magician in the text. So it's pretty good. Searches out your dark magical circles. The combo plays with this guy is brilliant. If he's in your graveyard and you would special summon or you would sort of activate a spell or a trap card on your opponent's turn, you can tribute a face up spellcaster you control and add it back to your hand. Mm. So, so the rod yeah. really synergizes I was really Yeah, deck. so he's like he's like your infinite recycle for your spells and traps. Mm. So yeah, he's pretty he's really pretty good. He's probably the best recycling card in the deck. Really good. It's a really good magician's uh, rod. So for outside of the Dark Magician support, I play two other cards, two other monsters, which is one unfortunately we will not be able to use for much longer is Max C. Mm. So that god card's getting banned. The, the last tournament of the yeah, the last uh, tournament banished in effect. Yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, however, I didn't use this today at all, except for the ditch it for Twin Twisters. That was, <laughs> that was it. That's what you use it for. It was <laughs> uh, And then the last card, of course, speed things up in the deck, is Blue Boy. Uh, this card's pretty broke. Everyone sort of knows mm. what he does. For those he doesn't, he searches out a spellbook card. I'll get to that engine in a minute. Yeah. But that's it for the monster lineup. Just helps thin through the deck. Yeah, so... Quick thinner, that's about it. So for your spells, everything's sort of straightforward in the spell lineup. You have your three Dark Magical Circle. So Dark Magical Circle is a pretty good card. Activate this. You get to look, you don't have to reveal, you get to look at the top three cards of your own deck. Uh, if any of them is the Dark Magician monster or a spell or trap card that lists Dark Magician in the text, except for Eye of Tamias, unfortunately. Mm. You can add it to your hand, then you stack the top or the other two in any order of your choice. Mm. If there is none, you can stack the top three in any order. So either way, it's a pretty broke card. Yeah, hopefully uh, no one's coming up next. Yeah, so its second effect is probably one of the most busted effects at the minute. If you special summon a Dark Magician card whilst you control this, you only problem is it targets, however, it doesn't destroy it, it just banishes a card. So, mm. I mean, 
for against most decks nowadays, that's pretty problematic for them. Banishing really good. their stuff, you know, so it's pretty good. That's an instant free. Uh, a two off I play would be I have Tomias. This card at three is too cloggy, even though you want to see this as much as possible mm. when you have your Dark Magician plays. Because summon this is what you use to summon your Dark Magician Dragon Knight, the big 3k beater. Yeah. Um, if you don't have this, you can't really summon it. It's pretty pointless to have, but it's a mm. good card. So and a good ratio. Yeah, two, two I find is the best way sort of to play it. Three is too cloggy and one's too little, you don't see it enough. Mm. So, a couple of wee one-offs here. So, you've got your Dark Magic Attack. Uh, Eternal Solar Trap card will search this. Mm. Um, it's pretty good. It nukes your opponent's back row. So when you're going for your pushes or your OTK plays, you drop this and it wipes your opponent's back road. That's won me matchups against the Pendulum Magicians today, and it also won me against Trickstar. It's so. a really good card. Uh, a lot of people won't play this, I don't see why, but Dark Magic Inheritance. So is what this card does is you banish two spell cards from your graveyard, and then you can search out a Dark Magician spell trap card. So it's like a spell version of Magician Draw. Mm. Deck thinning, you know what I mean? It gets you for your deck a lot quicker. So it's a pretty good card, but mm. any more than one's not too many. So basically um, you're paying four copies of Magician Draw. Yeah, four rod. Best card in the deck, by far. Uh, so the last one-off for the Dark Magician support that I would actually play would be Illusion Magic. This card is actually busted. I'm thinking about upping this to two. Mm. Uh, simple reason. This, you tribute a spellcaster. So say, for example, you brick with your spellbook engine plays and you open the blue boy and two secrets. You sum, normal summon your blue boy, add the knowledge, use knowledge to ditch one of the secrets. Mm. And that way you get your two draws. Then you can use this to tribute off the blue boy and you can add either up to two copies of a Dark Magician card from deck or graveyard back to your hand so it puts out your Dark Renewal plays and stuff again so it's pretty good I mean Magician's Navigation with this card is broke so mm. it's pretty good um, the obvious one everyone should have one of these if not I don't really know why but Regeki this card is actually so good it's a simple board wipe and there's not much that can really stop it. Mm -hmm. So it's just pretty good to get over problematic boards and it doesn't hit your board. So I mean, for Dark Magician, that's pretty effective when you can summon three Dark Magicians in one turn, swing for game, yeah. you just clear your bonus board. Uh, on to that point, the next two I play is oh, Double Twin Twister. Mm -hmm. This card, once again, you don't mind ditching stuff like Magician's Rod from hand. Mm. Uh, you know, you can replay them, it's not a problem, you're just bringing them back to your house easy, so once again, it's all about the push for this deck, yeah. I mean, two cards in this deck opens you into your combo, three Dark Magicians on board at all times, so, really so two cards opens you into your OTK play, so the reason I'm super heavy on sort of my back row removal is so I can just go straight for the push. Mm. So you don't have to deal with some strikes or like that? Yeah, because my other two is, is Cosmic Cyclones, so... Four back row removal, the dark magic attack. So, you know, it's pretty heavy on the back row removal because, as I say, the pushes are sort of a key point to this deck. And then there is your two spellbook of secrets and two spellbook of knowledges. The mm. simple sort of push for running through your deck. So, obviously, these to add this and use these to ditch the blue boy, etc., etc., to get your draws. Your whole deck, spellcasters. Or maybe Max C. Mm. So this is a very good card. Just draw two by tributing one. So yeah. But that's it for the spell lineup. Now we have a wee quick trap up. Not overly heavy on the traps here. So you've got three of a pretty good card, Eternal Soul. This card's very very good. Once you activate this, you can either special summon a Dark Magician from your hand or graveyard, or you can search out your Dark Magic attack. Now. Only issue I have with this card is if you don't have the means to get into Dark Magician Dragon Knight and stop your back row from being targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effect. One MST, one MST to this wipes your entire monster board. That mm. is the only thing, because its effect is if this leaves the field, you nuke your board. Mm. So that's the so only thing to this card. It is a risky card. However, if you have the plays to get into Dark Magician Dragon Knight, it's pretty good. In fairness, I didn't really play this today. I used it once or twice. Mm. Uh, because the next ones here is the next three I play is Magician Navigation. 
This was probably my MVP of the deck. Uh, this card is just stupid. You activate this as long as you have a Dark Magician in hand and you special summon it from your hand. And then you can special summon a level 7 or lower spe Dark Spellcaster from your deck as well as this. So you play your Dark Magician, add the Apprentice Illusion, or special summon the Apprentice Illusion Magician, use your Apprentice Illusion Magician's effect to special summon it, or they add another Dark Magician, sorry, to your hand. Once this is in the graveyard, this is when it actually becomes very broken. So this is in your grave and you have a Dark Magician live on field, and your opponent activates any spell or trap card, you can negate it at the end of the turn. It includes anything like, if they activate a Regeki there and then, because it's a quick effect, you just get rid of it mm -hmm. and negate the Regeki. Very good. It's really good. Very, very good. Uh, let me see. A one-off I play, which I've seen a lot of Dark Magician players play at two or maybe three, is Dark Renewal. I don't like this card. That's all I can really say about it. Do you ever find yourself having it today? I had it once, and once again, it was as bad as Max C. It was a Twin Twister target. I just, I don't like this. Um, now that Monster of Orange coming back, I've got Monster of Orange probably to replace the Max C. The Dark Renewal, I may keep main for now, but I don't think I'm going to go any further than that with it. It's a really cloggy card, mm. I find. Oh, Solemn Judgment. Yeah, so Solemn Judgment, I mean... Normally, life points don't overly matter in this deck because you normally just go straight for the big push and you've normally banished off most of your opponent's problematic cards anyway, so I'm not too sure. I don't think so because I already play. Well, I'll get to them now. Um, but it's like, yeah, I don't even know what I would replace that with at the minute. But the last three cards I play main board is the Solemn Brigade. Self-explanatory. Solemn Warning, two strikes. I find this is the best ratio. You'll find a lot of people class the Solemn Brigade nowadays as free strike. I don't I don't like it. This this is probably mm. the best one. This today against my Pendulum matchup, this and the Cosmic Cyclones and the Twin Twisters. My opponent opened me into these and the Cosmic Cyclones and the Twin Twisters, both games that I won 2-0 on. Mm. And it just got me game like that because they physically couldn't do nothing. Mm. So their plays were all shut down and it was all it took for me was to Eternal Soul into my Dark Magicians and just keep swinging for game. Yeah. So, yeah, it's sort of, they really help. But that's sort of it for the main board. Pretty good. Um, and the side deck? I'll go on to my side deck here now. Uh, it's not overly great. I sided once today and didn't see the cards I sided. Mm. So, I'll go through what I put in, thinking it was going to be sort of alright. So, the two Quaken. Um... These were sort of there because link format is sort of the big thing at the minute. So it's like, you know, they attack, use this, puts their materials face down, they can't link with them. Mm. It's pretty good. Um, against decks like ABC, uh, you put their buster down here, uh, face down in the pendulum or their monsters, extra monster zone, and they can't really do much. Because they can't tag it out enough, and so mm. then like you just don't bother attacking it until you've got the game. Mm. Um, the other four I run is the little kaiju engine. Pretty self-explanatory. Slumber. You have to board special summon as many as possible. It's more just for pushes or to get over problematic cards. And this, I guess, sometimes you can use it as a twin cluster bait. Set it. If it's in your grave, just use it and add one of these to your hand and get over something like spiral matchups. Kaiju Engine is really good against. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, I don't think they'll be a problem anymore. Uh, let me see. Storm and Mare Forces. To be honest, these just went into full space. I didn't really want to put anything else in, but I thought maybe just in case attack heavy decks. I could mm. use it, maybe Pendulum Magicians. But mm. Especially never, against Link Monsters. Yeah, or even Links, you know, returning them, because they can't, like, if they do get into the Links, whereas Quaken cannot, you know, sit, put them face down. Um, let me see. Just the one Dark Hole in Sideboard, because in case I have my field, I don't want to really be getting rid of it, unless mm. I only control one Dark Magician and have uh, the Eternal Soul on field, because then if I nuke my own Dark Magician, why is nuking their board any back row they had? I can Eternal Soul it back and banish. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty self-explanatory really for that one. Uh, the other two, once again, pretty self-explanatory is Ghost Ogres. Um, these 
Cyborg never had to add them once. I mean, they're really good. They are really good, but a lot of people will say main board days. Dark Magician in itself is an engine in its own. It sort of relies heavily on its own stuff, so you can't really overclog. You want to keep Dark Magician to a solid 40 card deck. You really don't want to go much more. And there's not much room to take anything out to put these in. Maybe now I might remove the Dark Renewal and as I said I want to replace the Max C probably with a Monster Reborn just for in case I don't have an Eternal Soul it lets me mm -hmm. play more Dark Magical Circle plays but I might find room for these some way but at the minute I didn't really need them at all. Mm -hmm. The other ones then are your Skullmeisters. I mean this card I thought I was going to have to be dealing with a lot of graveyard sort of things today and stuff, so there was Skullmeister and the DD Crows for the Banishes deal with sort of graveyard problems, but there was no real graveyard problems I came up against today. Spiral maybe a couple of times, but them games, that was sort of it. Mm. But, as I said, I never had to really side today, and I never really had to use my extra deck, so I can't really give much input. Sort mm. of towards them today, but... What were your matchups against? What was your results so well? So, my first game was a matchup against Spiral. I got beat 2-0 on that one. Uh, second game was against a guy playing UA. He took me to 2-1. Third game was against Invoked Windwitch. I won that 2-1. Um, my fourth game was against Trickstar. I beat that 2-1. Uh, my fifth game was Pendulum Magician. I beat them 2-0. So overall, I had four wins and one loss. Very good. So it wasn't too bad for my first regional. Yep, very good as well. And very nice play mat for that. First. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Like. Mm. Any last thoughts? Any... Yeah, just them simple changes, really. But it's... I mean, Dark Magician, it's not really my main deck. So I decided to sort of play it on the side. I mm. sort of decided early hours this morning that I was going to jump in and play that at the regional, so... So when did you decide to play it? Uh, overall, I was stricken between playing my Yusenjus and the Dark Magicians. I got the Dark Magicians back if I have to this morning, and I decided to play them properly, and I made my final decision at about 5 o'clock this morning that I was going to play Dark Magicians, so... So, you're happy with the decision? Uh, I still don't know. I don't think I would have dropped that game against Spiral if I was playing mm. But, no, yeah, it was a good choice. Oh, very good. Well, thank you very much for that uh, very interesting deck profile. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, check us out later.